what's up? This is Toy Story Tuesday featuring Toy Insanity and your mom. Uh, we got the Funko Pops today. We got Ms. Nesbitt. Years of academic training wasted. Don't you get it? See the hat? I'm Mrs. Nesbitt. One day you're defending the galaxy and the next you're sucking down Darjeeling with Marie Antoinette and her little sister. And then we got a bunch of the new ones. 522, 523, yeah, yeah, 524, I knew they would do the hot boat peep, and then, uh, yeah, let's see, 25 is going to be a new alien, it's not out yet, but I guess they're going to do the four major poses, since they're doing like Sheriff Woody and Flying Buzz, the pose is based on the toys, previous and prior, I mean, this goes all the way back to Thinkway and Mattel, but... I guess, uh, hopefully they do two arm alien, they do alien two arms down, alien two arms up, alien right arm up, alien left arm up. That would be awesome to get four aliens, or at least three, but alien's not out. Jesse, oh, I didn't get, I guess Jesse, I, I, I don't know if I missed it. Gabby, Gabby, oh, that's what I'm holding. <laughs> and then, uh. Forky. It's a double Forky, okay? Regular mass market Forky. GameStop Forky with a frown instead of a smile. So they get you, folks. That's how they get you every single time. And now let's see. Combat Carl Jr. is not out. He is the three and three quarter scale figure relating, of course, to the original. 12 inch figure but this is uh, Duke Kaboom Canada's greatest Daredevil and then Ducky Bunny now the rumor mill has it Target is going to do flocked versions of those if you're obsessed with figures that have fur that come that Scrapes off, you know, check target. So, yeah, now uh, now this is complete. I had to get Miss Nesbitt. I think you've had enough tea for one day. Years of academic training. Wasted. Boy, that's weird. This is the reason I never got the Mars Attacks Funko Pop so many years ago. I saw three of them at a store in person, in hand, and they all had one of these domes that you couldn't remove. And the painting beneath it was just horrible on each one. And I was like, these are so horribly painted, as most Funko Pops are. I was like, I don't want any of these. Of course, it became one of the rarest Funko Pops. And now to even attempt to get one... Regardless of the painting under the dome, you're going to be paying several hundred dollars. Now, obviously, I'm going to modify this to get the arm back on. Because this, is, this might be the most retarded thing anyone, any toy company has ever suggested. To display this figure with the arm down at the foot or something. Oh, but that's how it is in the movie. Yeah, I mean, I'll fix that, and, you know, we can all rejoice that we have a Buzz Lightyear and drag in our collection. How great. <sighs> I mean, did he have his helmet up with the hat on the outside of the helmet in that scene? I don't think so. Buzz activates the helmet. No, does he pull down the helmet to snap him out of his existential crisis? I mean, what's the deal? <coughs> what is it? What is even the deal? Funko really loves this type of stand nowadays. The old stick it up your butt stand.
Ugh. Bonnie. Is this canon? Is there a scene where Bonnie puts her name on Andy's toys? Bonnie. They definitely say Bonnie. Pretty sturdy fig there. Anyway, there's your classics. Everything else is new. Bo Peep with Officer Giggles. Officer Giggles, the villain of our little flick. What do you think? This becomes one of the smallest Funko Pops ever. As you can tell, it's smaller than most Pocket Pops. I've noticed a lot of the merchandising is not calling this a crook. I guess they don't want kids to learn a new vocab word. They're just calling it a staff. But yeah, Giggles McGiggles is smaller than... The smallest Funko Pop I know of is Sparks, who is the companion to Spiro, Spyro... The dragon. Sparks is this big, but genuine, man. Genuine Funko Pop. Very nice. Definitely one of the most boring Funko Pops that I own. I mean, there's just nothing unique. Of it. There's nothing that says, oh, Toy Story. Oh, yeah, it's so toy. Just a little, uh, whatever. Okay. Duke Kaboom, also pretty boring. I'm not excited that so many of the new characters are human-like. I mean, they're toys, but they're toys of humans. And whether they're toys of real humans, you know, real existing people, is irrelevant to the point I'm making. Gabby, Duke Kaboom, Officer McGiggles, and even uh, Slappy. No, 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 what's his name? Benson. They're all based on humans really dislike that. I like when Buzz and Woody are the only humans. Well, I guess Barbie Ken and Bo Peep. But that's what's cool about the first three entries into the film franchise. I guess Stinky Pete's a human, huh? And Jesse, duh. I don't know. I think this is why Toy Story 3 really stands out. All the villains... I guess except can't oh big baby though no i guess i'm just trying to say i like lotso and his gang oh, big baby's creepy i guess i would have i would have i like okay i like baby face with the erector set legs that's freaky cool i just like toys that aren't based on humans i mean twitch twitch sparks chunk lotso and stretch Man, those are cool. Those are cool designs. The aliens are cool design. Even the classics like Rex, Potato Head, Slinky Dog, and Ham. They're not. They're not. You little human dolls. It's, I don't know. It's like I don't. I don't want toys based on toys that are based on humans. The coolest characters, honestly, Funko. Get on this is Toy Story that Time Forgot when they find those dudes that look like the Skeksis meets the Battle Beast meets Dinotopia. Just freaky cool dino dudes. Also, Combat Carl's another just a dude. There's a dude of a dude. 
as if a dude of it. I mean, there's it's a GI Joe analog, and then you could get GI Joe Funko Pops too. Anyway, so the well, all those knuckleheads are done. I don't like any of those, and now we're up to the ones that I actually do like. Forky, you notice there's some like RC. Is a car he can run, but, you know, uh, he can run on his own, but Woody can also control him. So he's a car, he's a car toy, but he has eyes. But then there's all these toys that don't have eyes. So it's not, you know, they say it's a child's love that makes it come alive. So this is like essentially Forky's garbage, but came alive because Bonnie, you know, put her heart into it. But then they say, well, you know, what about in Toy Story 2 when Buzz is in Al's toy barn and all the other Buzzes come alive, not, you know, not to mention all the toys are just... Well, I think it's the children in the sweatshop. I think that they're, you know, all toys are touched by a child because in China they're made by children and then sold to other children across the world. But I'm just thinking, like, Etch-A-Sketch is a thing that's alive, sentient, it doesn't have a, uh, you know, it doesn't have eyeballs or even feet. Ugh. That hockey puck doesn't have eyeballs. You know, I mean, what, what really constitutes a toy? A sentient toy at that. Oh man, this painting is horrible. That's like 12 bucks, folks. 12, 13 bucks right there. Man. Toy Story killing me. All right, well, Ducky's cute. Did you guys collect the Sesame Street ones? I didn't. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have got those. For some reason, little ducky there was reminding me of Big Bird. Put all our bunnies together. I mean, it's basically just Bonnie, Bugs Bunny, that rabbit from Zootopia. That was the dumb little hangy hook. I don't know. I'm kind of excited for the movie. You gotta, I gotta admit, these toys aren't that exciting. I think I basically I, I just want him to do the buddy figures. I never wanted them to explode this big with the Toy Story figures, especially since they hadn't taken the time to catch up on the old Toy Story characters. And I'm, I'm talking about Funko Pops. You know, it's a shame. Because, like, they did Alien, Zerg, Lotso. These are extremely rare. So it's I think it's kind of a shame that people are getting... Things like Duke Kaboom and Gabby Gabby and even Bo Peep before they ever had a chance to get something classic like Potato Head and, you know, Zerg. Re-release Zerg and, uh, non, you know, Nonsense Lotto and, and Stinky Pete. Come on! Come on, Funko! Alright, Toy Insanity. And beyond. Thanks for the upvote. Later, alligator.